Hello friends and welcome to edupediawall.com. In today's video we're gonna do a small review of the verse we have seen so far. To be and to have. Ser, estar y tener. The first review or repaso would be el uso de ser, estar y tener. The use of to be and to have. And this way you, you'll have the three verbs in one video so it would be easier for you to just like go back to them. Ser, to be. Ser is used when talking about the origin of a person or a thing. El origen de una persona o cosa. The identification. La identificación. The characteristics and description. Características y descripción. Date and time. Hora y fecha. And time and place of an event. Hora y lugar de un evento. And also when talking about possession and materials. Posesión y materiales. How do you conjugate the verb ser? In present, yo soy, tú eres, él, ella es, nosotros, nosotras somos, vosotros, vosotras sois, ellos, ellas son. And what about the verb estar? Also to be. It is used to state the location of a person or a thing, la localización de una persona o cosa, las condiciones, the conditions, and the opinions, las opiniones. And how do you conjugate it? In present, again. Yo estoy, tú estás, él, ella está, nosotros, nosotras, estamos, vosotros, vosotras, estáis, ellos, ellas, están. And the verb tener, it is used in the same way as the verb to have in English, plus it is also used to state the age, la edad, and some common expressions that we have seen already, as tengo frío, tengo hambre, tengo calor. And how do you conjugate it? Yo tengo, tú tienes, él, ella tiene, nosotros, nosotras tenemos, vosotros, vosotras tenéis, ellos, ellas tienen. As you have seen, we, we are only conjugating the, these verbs in present. Uh, we'll see some, some other verbs in present too in the next videos and then uh, we'll learn how to use the past and then the future and different, different tenses in Spanish. So. Now let's practice this verse we already know, know by heart. Vamos a practicar. So here for example, the guy would say, mi nombre es Juan. He would use the verb ser. And for example, if she asks, ¿Cuántos años tienes, Juan? She would use the verb tener for the age. When describing a person, She would say, Juan es rubio y bajo y tiene 30 años. Juan is blonde and short and he is 30 years old. He, she used the verb ser to describe him and tener for the age. New vocabulary words here. Rubio, blonde, bajo, short. He, for example, would say, María es pelirroja y alta, 
y tiene 25 años. María is red haired and tall and she is 25 years old. Once again, verb ser for the description and tener for the age. New words here, pelirroja, red hair and tall, alta. Now, let's take the example of an object, a car for example, right? To see the different ways of, the, of using these verbs. El coche es rojo. The car is red. We use the verb ser because we are describing it. El coche tiene ruedas. The car has wheels. We use the verb tener because this is a possession. This is the, something that the car has. El coche está al lado de la bicicleta. The car is next to the bike or the bicycle. Bicicleta, bicycle. Al lado de, next to. So we use the verb estar because we are describing the location of the car. El coche está al lado de la bicicleta. El coche es bonito. The car is pretty. Bonito, pretty. El coche es bonito. We use the verb ser because we are giving an opinion of how the car is. Or even we are describing it. You can think about the use of the verb ser in here as both. Description and opinion. El coche tiene cinco años. Here we're saying how old the car is. El coche tiene cinco años. The car is five years old. Therefore, we use the verb tener because in Spanish, when we are uh, saying the age, telling the age of something or someone, we always use the verb tener. So, this was all for today. This was all I have to tell you in this small review of what we have seen so far. I hope you enjoyed the video. And the next one will be learning the daily routine in Spanish. Um, we're gonna learn more vocabulary and more verbs. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Once again, thanks for watching. And hasta la próxima. See you later.